Rose Cap sign. Rose Cap. Rose Cap. G R O S C A P. Rose Cap. Rose Cap. Rose Cap. Rose Cap. And then you'll see a park. You might want to film that. Film the park. You see when you see this, you're like what? Five minutes away. Oh yeah, less than that. Oh shit! Can't see shit. Yeah, basically when you see these, you're there. Yeah. Cool. Oh, right here. oh, look at that bike, dude. Look at that. I'm parking beside it. All right. I'm with Tomcat, and we're gonna be going over that ridge to the goat's path. Mm -hmm. And that's the entrance. But yeah, you pretty much just walk down this trail. It's gonna break off into a couple Y's, Y intersections, and uh, it's kind of confusing, but we'll break it down for you. So here's the first intersection. Want to break this down, Tom? Because you know right. the spot good. Easiest way to get to the top would be go up there and then go to the left. And it'll bring you on to the very top ridge up there. Way up there. But you can also go this way, and if you're walking and you're comfortable with going up the hill, you just go up that way and get around as well so you can get to that rock beach. Yeah, we like going this way. Yeah. I've never actually went that way before, but... It's the way that I go. I'm not going across that. I'm going off road and Tom. Usually there's like little trails along the side. I accidentally wore my uh, good shoes. Oops. What would you rate this difficulty, Tom? Probably uh, moderate, over moderate. It's a lot of obstacles like this, which I think is cool. I love this stuff, but um, I don't know. It's not really like tiring, it's just weird terrain. So here's our second Y. Yeah. So this go part. That way there to get to the top, or you can go around this way. The goat's path. Get up on the front over there where people jump in the water sometimes. Yeah. You can also get on that rock beach on the other side. We'll do this part after, but we're gonna do the goat's path first. This is probably one of my favorite parts of this hike. Just because it's like a cool like trail. And right now the water's really calm. Like usually, the waves are crashing. And this part could be a little bit sketchy for sure because you're pretty high up. And yeah, you're on loose rock the whole way. So you kind of get like an idea. It's overlooking the edge. And that's where we parked over there. And you just basically follow this uh, path. And it's going to go into, um, into like a heavily forested area that might not look like a trail. Okay, so at the ending of the spot, there's gonna be like a little section here. Now, it doesn't look like part of the trail, but it is. It's gotta have trust, you gotta have faith. Thread the needle, and then it's gonna open up. So we're just kinda like walking through. Oh yeah. See, then it opens up. Then you pretty much follow this trail for a bit and then we're gonna be where we wanna be. So you probably walk in this section maybe like a minute if that. And you're gonna see this big rock. When you see this big rock right here out in the middle of the trail, you know you're gonna be close to where, where you gotta turn off. So you go in this way where Tom goes where we wanna go, but I like to go this way. First left you get. I'm going this way, Tom. Tom's gonna try this way. It's, I think it's better. You literally just, you can't miss it actually. It takes you right out to the water. And you just pretty much walk in this general direction. Some more sketchy terrain, but I don't know. It's half the fun. Nice footwork, dude. Made it. The king.
like I said, usually the water is raging and there's massive waves and they're crashing into these rocks, but it's very rare you actually see the water this calm. Rock beach over there too. Oh yeah, you got a rock beach over there. Yeah. Some bluffs up there. So now we're gonna go up to like this ridge area. You can see some of the ridge. It's a cool lookout um, and we're gonna break it down. So basically, we want to go the same way how we entered this area. We want to, uh, the goat's path. yeah, we want to go back across the goat's path and uh, and uh, go back to the Y intersection. So, yeah. So again, uh, we'll go this way, back out. Don't trip, eh? I know. <laughs> so we are at the Y intersection. So you can see the train, what, what, what we were talking about. It's like, you gotta climb a bunch of sh crap. So it's not really so much like a distance you gotta hike, it's just more like weird obstacles. You can break this part down. Yeah. You can go up there, get a nice little lookout spot. Then go this way up to the top, top of the ridge. You wanna do the left first? Ah, uh, sure. Might as well. And this is above uh, the goat's path. I'm winded, Tom. Here we are on top of the goat's path. Here's the first or one of the lookouts. And you're gonna wanna come up here for sunset. Sunset is the best because the sunset's over there. And when it's a clear sky, it's just epic. I'll show some footage too of nights that came up here when there's sunset just to give you an idea. The sun might pop out, but it's pretty, cloudy, I don't know, yeah. it's pretty cloudy. So now we're gonna go back to uh, the main lookout. We're almost at the top. See some cool ridge line over there. And you know you're at the top, when you see this tower, the great tower. We have a name for this? And now, here we are. We're in like this open section now. When Tom was breaking down the road at the beginning of the video, about that road, if you hang a right, there's like a road over there. I guess like back in the day, you were able to drive a vehicle up here, but there's gates and stuff like that, right, that stop it. Big sweet photo on the front page would be good like this. Oh yeah. Trying to make your loon noises. Yes. On the way back, you can get to this Y. You can go that way. Don't suggest it. Go this way where Tom's going. I 
I know, like, there's like a bunch of random paths, eh? Yeah. It's weird terrain. Who showed you this area? Uh, yeah? Kind of just went here on your own one day and just started exploring? Well, I've had like cousins and stuff up in the area, so they're up here a whole lot. Yeah. Let me check it out a couple times. Tom showed me this area. Yeah. Way back in the spring when there's snow. And here we are at the entrance. So again, that's the goat path to go to the first section. But we're out of here, so we're going to go this way.